Hi everyone, my name is Tufu. I'm a data science consultant and this channel is all about data science careers and developing the skills. In this video, we'll be going over my recommended learning program and the courses for you to learn the most important skills in data science, especially if you are a beginner. Before we start, let me tell you about my personal learning journey and how I got started in data science as an economics graduate. During my economics study, I did a research internship in which I used Excel and some R programming to do some data analysis and creating linear regression models for the research. And then together with my master thesis, I had some data analysis experience and became interested in data analytics. But I had no idea what I could do with it. And of course, I had zero industry experience at the time. After the internship, I was lucky enough to get a job as a data analyst for a startup in Amsterdam. I think more because they really need people than because I was very competent. In that job, I learned Tableau for data visualization. I also became much more proficient in Excel and writing macros in VBA. In the meantime, I took some R programming courses to improve my R programming skill. And much later, I learned some basic Python and a bit machine learning with Andrew Ng's courses, mostly just for fun because the most advanced thing I did back then was to do some basic data clustering. In my current role as a consultant, I learned SQL for some client projects where I need to pull data from their databases. And in some other projects, I use machine learning, for example, to build a customer risk classification model for them. And most recently, I learned some JavaScript and web frameworks to create more advanced ad hoc data visualization and building data science prototypes. As you can see, you don't need to learn everything at once. You only need to keep going and building up your skill set. I think what really helped me learn a skill quickly is to learn the basics and then at the same time, get my hands dirty with that new skill, either through portfolio projects or applying that skill directly into my work. This is also what I really focus on when recommending a program. Now let's jump right into it. The first course I'd recommend as a starting point for an absolute beginner is the Data Analytics Professional Certificate by Google. It's really designed for someone who wants to learn data analytics from scratch, so it doesn't require any prerequisites. I think if this certificate was already around six years ago and had I taken it, I would have felt much more prepared for my first data analyst job. This specialization teaches you the most fundamental skills such as data cleaning, data analysis, and data visualization. It also teaches you the tools of a trade such as Excel, SQL, R programming, and Tableau. These skills are highly in demand and can hugely benefit you in most data science related roles. There is also a dedicated course on asking questions and presenting findings for decision making. It is really an essential skill for anyone working with data, understanding and translating a business problem into the metrics and hypothesis and the analysis that can be done with data. From my experience, well, this is really the core part of my job. I wish I understood sooner that data science is not just about playing around with data and do fancy modeling and coding, but it's really about understanding the business problems and come up with the right solution using the data that you have. At the end of the program, you get to work on a capstone project to help you put everything together to work on a real data analysis case. This is probably the most beneficial part of this entire certificate because you can use this capstone Capstone project as a portfolio project to show to your employers. Luke Barus has a very good video series where he talked about how his subscribers landed data science jobs with the projects they did in this program. This program is great for beginners and covers a lot of ground, but it doesn't really go in depth into the nitty gritty of any specific data analysis techniques and tools. So if you want to go deeper into something, you might want to find dedicated courses or specializations on them. Which which leads me to the next recommended course. Last year in a project, I looked at almost 2,000 data analyst job posts and found that most of them require SQL and Excel skill, followed by Tableau, Python, and R skills. We can see that SQL is a very important tool for the job. Also for data scientists, SQL is in the top three in-demand skill next to Python and R. SQL is an important data querying tool in most companies across industries. It's used to aggregate combined data and engineer data features that can be used for data analysis and modeling. There are many good SQL resources out there. Some of them are completely free, but I found the Learn SQL Basics for Data Science Specialization on Coursera the most comprehensive of all. This specialization consists of four courses 
as SQL for data science, data wrangling, analysis and A-B testing with SQL, distributed computing with Spark SQL, and lastly, SQL for data science capstone project. I think it's generally quite easy to pick up basic SQL skills, things like filtering data, aggregating, sorting data, and basic joins, but I've also worked in projects where I really had to pull my hair out because some really complicated queries in SQL. There are certainly a lot of advanced data wrangling techniques you can do with SQL, such as deduping, running several data quality checks, backfilling, calculating rolling averages, and partitioning. So the first two courses in this specialization can help you become more confident with these techniques. Additionally, the second course also covers A-B testing and shows you how to conduct A-B testing with SQL to test a hypothesis about how user behavior changed. The third course covers distributed computing and Spark SQL, which is a very useful skill in industry. In one of my projects for a large customer, I also had to use Spark SQL in combination with PySpark to query and analyze data and build machine learning models. More and more companies are making use of big data to gain insights and build automated AI systems, so having knowledge in distributed computing and the tools I think is really a great advantage. And to top it off, you'll be doing a capstone project where you choose uh, one out of the three data sets, exploring the data, do analysis, and present your findings. So overall, I think this is a very well-rounded SQL program. So where should we go from here? As we saw earlier, Python is the most popular programming language nowadays used uh, by data scientists and data analysts. It's a very versatile language and to me, it's quite easy to pick up. So after you've learned the basics of data analysis and manipulation with Excel, SQL, and Tableau, the next thing to learn is Python. Python is not included in the Google Data Analytics Certificate, but it's always worth taking a dedicated course on it. I really enjoyed taking the Applied Data Science with Python specialization from the University of Michigan. The first course, the introduction to Python, might not be something new for you, but you might come across some quite useful tips and tricks and practical nuggets for plotting and charting in Python in the second course. And then the Applied Machine Learning, Applied Text Mining, and social network analysis courses also offer a huge amount of practical skills when modeling both structured and unstructured data. I noticed in recent years, more and more projects at my work are using NLP or image processing and social network analysis because these techniques really offer a different way of looking at the data. So sometimes you might want to combine unstructured data with structured data to create relevant features for traditional machine learning models. I think it's an inevitable trend because more companies are seeing the potential of using unstructured data to gain insights. So even though you may not be be doing this kind of project right now, I think it's very likely that you will need those skills in the future. If you are more into R programming, you can also take the data science foundations using R specialization. It also gives you the same foundation using R. However, the disadvantage of this one is that it doesn't cover machine learning, applied text mining, and social network analysis topics, but it can be a very useful course if you are using R more often in your data science job. As you progress in data science, you might decide at some point to learn more machine learning to be able to do predictive analysis. Just a quick note that it's not a must-have skill for everyone. In my first job as a data analyst, I also didn't really use machine learning because of the nature of the project and also because of the limited amount of data that I worked with. From my own experience and from what I heard from a lot of people, one of the biggest challenges when learning machine learning is mathematics. It's very easy to give up learning machine learning when you don't have a solid background knowledge in math and statistics. So if you feel like you need to brush up your math skill, the mathematics for machine learning specialization might be helpful. This specialization contains three courses, linear algebra, multivariate calculus, and PCA. So they cover pretty much most of the math you need to learn for machine learning. I found the instructors very engaging, and I really like the way they deliver the content with the drawing and the examples. I came across a lot of new concepts and terms I didn't know before, even though I thought I already knew a lot of math. So if you want to be serious about math and dig into machine learning later, I'd highly recommend this course. Another 
another advantage of taking a course like this is that it gets you more comfortable with common math symbols and notations that come up frequently in machine learning books and research papers. I used to feel really turned off when seeing complicated math notations and formulas, but this course has helped me to some extent overcome this fear. If you need an overview and some practical tips on how to learn math for data science, please check out my earlier video over here. It's a pity that the program doesn't cover statistics, but for that, there are many other resources as well. In the description below, I've added some free books that you can use. Also, if you need a review of what kind of statistics you actually need to learn for data analysis, feel free to check out my other video over here as well. One of the things that excites me the most when working with data is data visualization. I enjoy the creative side of it, and it also gives me a visual representation of the data that often sparks ideas for analysis and use cases. No matter your job role in data science, data visualization is no doubt a very important skill. There are many, many tools for data visualization, from out-of-the-box software like Power BI and Tableau to R or Python or JavaScript libraries for ad hoc static visualization with limited interactivity and cross-filtering, you can use R and Python. However, to create interactive visualization and share them with others, the easiest way is still through software like Tableau or Power BI. And that's perhaps the reason why most companies use this software when it comes to dashboarding and data visualization. I've worked with both and quite frankly, I think I enjoy Tableau much better, both in terms of capabilities and performance. Tableau is also a bit more popular and older in the market than Power BI, but yeah, it will depend on the company you work with, which one you will choose. One of the best courses I've found on data visualization with Tableau and DataVis in general is the data visualization with Tableau specialization. What I really liked about this specialization is that it also covers the essential design principles and the storytelling part that takes into account the needs of the stakeholders. This is often not covered in general data science courses. This course also comes with access to a six month student license for Tableau desktop, which is quite expensive if you have to buy it yourself. The specialization consists of five courses. The first course, Fundamentals of Visualization with Tableau, teaches you the basics of working with data in Tableau, creating simple charts and putting them together in a dashboard. The second course is Essential Design Principles for Tableau, which shows you the fundamental ideas such as types of visualization, how to apply the Gestalt principles and leverage the way our brains perceive different elements in order to create more effective visualization. It will also show you how to work with dates, create table calculations, and measures in Tableau. And last but not least, to create some custom maps. The fourth course is creating dashboard and storytelling with Tableau, where you learn the concepts, tips, and techniques to help you explore the data. It also teaches you how to identify the key metrics and how best to visualize the KPIs you have in a dashboard. Finally, in the last course, you work on a visualization project and publish your project on Tableau Public. You're also given tons of resources such as data storytelling design checklist, do's and don'ts, and a bunch of dashboard examples that you can use for inspiration. This course is perfect for someone who works with Tableau for data visualization, but even if you work with another tool, I think you'd still learn a ton from this course in terms of the principles and tips and tricks for building an effective visualization. As I love taking online courses, I always look for ways to save money. I'm a big fan of using the free trial option on Coursera and try to finish the course within the seven day trial period, or you can also audit the courses. But these options are not always available, and their downside is that you won't get the certificate to show to your future employers and you're also often in a rush to finish the course in time. Another and perhaps a better option is to use Coursera Plus subscription, where you'd get unlimited access to more than 7,000 courses, including all the courses I mentioned in this video. Coursera is running a deal right now and you get $100 off of Coursera Plus annual if you sign up. If you consider getting this subscription, you can check out the link in the video description below to get the $100 discount 
account. Also, I've added the links to all the recommended courses I mentioned in this video below. If you find the video helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you in next video. Bye bye!